All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only. How are my adventures doing? I gotta say, holy crap. That's a, that amount of support out of nowhere after my my rabid musketeer soldier, which is also a placeholder name. All the characters, well, Monster Girls currently are placeholder names. Just want that to be out there. But after the amount of support on that, I um I'm happy that you guys enjoy her design. Um, I do have a playlist that you guys can go and see the older designs as well. That is, that is a thing, because I have quite a bit of designs going in. We have 14 images at the moment. We're about to have way more once the other artist finishes um, Hydra, and Hydra will probably come in next month um my current artist that is doing most of the work right now is basically getting him out like every week which is actually pretty nice keeping it steady like she finishes very early and she's actually doing an extremely good job which she's the one who made um wolf girl and as you can see rabid musketeer well musket I actually have a plan for Rabbit Musketeer now that I actually made this, made the uh, musket, but uh, that's further down the road. I'm trying to get like a lot more designs going. Um, they aren't going to be in the exact same release order for when uh, the game actually does get more going. You know, I, I'm going to have like a, like a adventure log type of book to where it'll be like the Pokédex and they're not going to be in the exact order that you see them inside of my videos because that would be kind of weird if I ever decide to make a legendary and she's just like number 10 <laughs> or something. But yeah, they'll be in their own other order and I'll also release a video with their actual like names translated of all the Monster Girls. But um, right now we're getting into the map creation um i put out a video well not a video i put out a request on fiverr just to see if i could find anyone i probably won't find no one right away it'll probably be like a week or two before i can actually find somebody who will create the map but i'm gonna keep pumping out requests and seeing if anybody you know takes that or i'm gonna start looking around fiverr for actual people who will actually you know help with that and I'll send them a lot more detail but um at this moment as you guys can see in this video I have already built the battles the battle scene which is basically you know encounters but the thing is I'm learning Godot and it's actually extremely easy but I also have to learn the coding part soon so I at the moment I'm gonna hire a developer on the side who can keep it going as I'm learning Godot. And I'm actually loving Godot because they have a lot of cool features in it. And Godot is constantly getting updates as well. And I think they recently just got another update now that I'm actually speaking on that. Or recently or no, I think they have another update planned. I think that's what it is. Because it was announced on the 19th. I think it's already already hit. But yeah, it's constantly still getting updated and it's getting like cool new features. Um, I've been on itch.io looking for like little placeholders and assets and stuff like that. And getting things off there. So that's been helping as well. It's actually extremely easy to use Godot. And I'm going to be looking forward to actually learning the coding and everything. Because then I can start coding my own stuff as well. And start making my own games. Instead of, you know, having a, another developer on board. But it is a lot easier because it takes a lot of the stress out of it. <laughs> Just to have somebody else, you know, in that corner to correct any of your mistakes or fix any bugs that you can't fix. But, yeah, as you can see, I'm building this the scenes so oh, the battle scene is done i'm gonna make a shop scene i'm gonna make other scenes why i'm uh having this downtime searching for a map creator and and searching for 
a secondhand developer who can, you know, get this get the ball rolling a little bit more. So that's gonna be fun to search around and look for that. But um I do have like a little bit of lore and information for when um Demon Cat is done about the um, I would say about the type of Monster Girls, like, like it's it's weird to say. I guess I'm gonna say Halfborns and Trueborns. That's all I'm gonna say for now. Into Demon Cat is done because with her that completes the the lure I can actually put in and have a conversation about. But that video is gonna be fun to make because I have so many plans for it. And it will help a lot more with the pools. If I do get the game to where it is playable, maybe I'll make a Discord, quite a, not, not Discord, uh, Patreon, because quite a few people have asked me to make a Patreon already. And I can't do that right now because I feel more comfortable if I was to make a Patreon if I had a playable, you know, a playable game to give. I, I don't feel comfortable doing that without it being playable and testable, you know, stuff like that. I want to have proof of concept. Let, let's, yeah, proof of concept. That, that's the perfect way to put it. Once I have that proof, I'll feel more comfortable to make a Patreon and maybe you guys can help me out with the rewards and everything. Um, I might do a lot more Q and A videos because it's been a extremely long time since I've done the Q and A video. And I think that was like early last year was the last Q and A video I've ever done. I, I just stopped doing them for so long, but now that we have more people who are interested in the project, well, this project and not my channel, but <laughs> I can actually do a Q and A and see, you know, what questions you guys have for me. So, um, I'm also going to talk about like certain monster girls have to be redesigned. Um, most eyes are on my owl girl and my deer girl. I'm going to go over this when Hydra is done of why they have to be redesigned. I'm just waiting for Hydra to get done. Then we'll talk about this more in depth. So that's also something else I have to hold off. I have a lot of videos planned. I have a lot of things planned. If I don't have anything to upload, I normally upload a short instead. Talking about my Monster Girls and how their designs came to be. As you guys saw a couple of those videos. Um, UI is also going to be a thing I have to look into later today. Well, no, probably next week. Or either that or probably after I get the first map done. Because UI is going to be important. No, no, no. I could do UI right after I hire this developer because I want them to make the, the, the Monster Girl data info to where I can I can edit it and add in Monster Girls really easily and can get them to show up in a battle because right after I want that data, I want to try and get into like the basics of combat because I want to be able to make moves. I want to be able to make my own typings. Typing is going to be annoying to make just because I, I, I'm trying to step away from Pokemon's typing. But it's going to be weird and I'm going to have to choose like quite a few names for each type. For dragons, I could choose Scalebound or something like that. Or for flying, I can use d d wind, <laughs> wind type. Well, actually, yeah, I can't, I can actually do that. I can. Hmm. It's going to be a lot that I have to change. Like bug type, I could just put insect. <laughs> like that, that's an obvious change, you know, just just small things like that. For fire, I don't 
know what the heck I could change to that. I could put flame, but flame sounds weird. I could put um amber, maybe. No. Hmm. I don't think I have one for fire. I could choose aqua for water. There's a ton of things I'm gonna have to change. <laughs> Which is gonna be fun. Because either that or I could just use some of the typings that Pokemon has, but change some of the names of the unique ones, like like I said, dragon can be skill. And or or something like that. Reptile. Lizard. <laughs> I have to think about this a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, always little things like that I can I can try and figure out and change um for the action panel. I actually need to I forgot and I just realized that I need to change. Yeah, I need to make another action panel to where it has the moves because when I click attack, I want to I want it to move to those like moves you can use that are available to you. I also want to have the move buttons color color coordinated so if it's like a fire move i want it to be like a fire symbol with the button being red as you can see i i actually got the buttons to work and light up as i hover over them which is great um what else what was i talking about oh yeah the ui but i'm not sure if i want to just make a button for every last typing or if i just want to make it for magic and physical just have a magic and physical damage and just change the color of it so if i have a magic fire attack is going to end up having like a staff for the magic part and it'd be red for you know the fire attack if i have a physical green attack it's going to be a sword and a green coloring i could do that just to make it more simple instead of just changing the color because you'll already see the typing as the color so that would actually make it a lot more simple so for my game it's not special attack or special defense it's magic defense or magic attack you know the classic rpg rules that's what i want to go for instead and in the combat system, there won't be any power points or anything like that. There will be mana. It will be called mana. The classic. Because I... I think it would... I actually learned that mana would fit my game a lot more. Just, just because... As I was working in Unity, it made a lot more sense because of the moves. And for me, in my head, it's like, it wouldn't make any sense for my Monster Girls to be using, like, these powerful moves and not just implement mana into the game. It would make more sense just to make a mana system and use that instead. So it's sort of like how Tam Tam did their uh, stamina system, you know, like, regain it over time for each move. I, I say just normal regeneration per turn would help. But actually, yeah, I'm going to have to make a skip turn button or recover, recover mana button. I just realized that. Hmm. I didn't actually put the mana bar in just yet. That's something I still have to do. I just realized that as well. But. Once I get that in, then we can start working on, you know, mana, attack, stuff like that. As of right now, the map is all I'm truly thinking about. Just because I want to get that outside concept done first. Then start getting the actual coatings and everything prepared. I was struggling with this part. Just <laughs> trying to get the Monster Girls to actually... Well, no, I was trying to get the HP bar to snap above Tigora's head. But for some reason, this stupid HP bar just kept going down. Well, no, kept staying to the side of here. 
and I was I'm over here trying to figure out Godot and trying to figure out like what the heck's going on. How do I change this? How do I center it? I still have not figured out how to do that. <laughs> so if anybody's ever used Godot 4, please help me. <laughs> because I'm trying to order it to where the name and the HP is directly above her head. And it keeps for some reason being on this on this left side and I, I'm annoyed. I'm pissed. <laughs> Every time I'm doing this, this took like an hour, by the way. No, it took up to two hours, actually. Just because I was trying to figure out everything. It was going pretty smoothly figuring out until I got to this part and I was just sitting here like, dude, I hate this. What 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 am I doing? <laughs> but the thing I'm looking forward to is once I get all the basics done is trying to get animations into the game. Like I want every monster girl to be animated with an idle animation and attack animation and a buff animation. Like th that's what I want to get into later on. It's just, it's just at the moment base game comes first into getting until we get to that luxury, into that luxury phase to where we can actually, you know, do all that. And with the amount of support, just off the Rabbit Girl video, there's there's a shining hope for me. <laughs> like as soon as I saw that video do so well, I thought to myself, dude, there's hope for my game. There's actual hope for my game. People will actually more than likely enjoy this. <laughs> Even though I'm terrible right now. But um, like I said before, I plan on doing a remake of this game once I'm done with this. Because this is a concept of concept of it, basically. And then I'll do a remake to where it is 2D slash 3D because I'll have a lot more experience when I come back and I'm ready to do that. And hopefully I'll find an artist by then who can actually, you know, fit my idea. Because that was the issue I was struggling. I couldn't find like a 3D modeler who can, who fits what I want for my world and in design. So I'm doing this, you know, just, just to have something going. I know this isn't the best looking game ever. And I know the mouse will overworld concept is kind of weird. Just having like a, an icon as a character moving and following your mouse or clicking and navigating the map is not like the best type of gameplay ever. But I will strive to make the combat system at least fun and the other features that I have planned at least enjoyable just to make up for, you know, the lack of overworld. <laughs> you know, I, hey, dude, I'm going to try and put some beauty into it. That's what I want. I want to hire a map designer that will actually put in the hard work to make it beautiful at least. That's what I want. I have so many features that I want to try and add and hopefully this second developer can do that because it's something that I've wanted from Pokemon for a while that I'm not going to spoil. I'm not going to spoil it because it's, it's a fun idea. It's just getting it. <laughs> it's just getting it into that, into that groove that it's not going to be fun. <laughs> but yeah, that has been pretty much it for me. It's incredible to see you guys actually just find my channel and and just enjoy my Monster Girl designs as I'm getting the game prepared. This is the second time, well no, third time technically that I've changed game engines. I started out with RPG Maker it was limited and didn't have anything I want. Uh, I started, then I went over to Unity, which is very tedious and was just way too complex. And it had like so many issues that I just didn't like. And that's the end of that video, by the way. <laughs> but now that I'm with Godot, Godot has a lot more easier features that I do like and enjoy. Hopefully I'll learn it and stick with it. With that said, hopefully I can please you guys with this game. 
Until then, peace out.